What's going on, everybody? Um, had a day to digest this playoff. Uh, watching yesterday, of course, I was hooting and hollering when they announced Alabama because, honestly, I didn't think it was going to be Alabama. I wholeheartedly think it should be Alabama, and I'm glad it is. But I thought they were going to go Ohio State like pretty much everybody thought. Everybody was pretty much in line with the thinking I had. Thinks it probably should be Alabama but thought it would probably be Ohio State. But the committee got it right. You can say what you want. But the criteria is you want the four best teams, okay? Alabama is better than Ohio State, period. I'm not concerning myself with conference championships because Ohio State can cry all they want about that. That's how they got in last year. You did the same thing. So I don't want to hear that bullshit. Alabama would not have lost by 31 to Iowa. Alabama would not have gotten crushed by Oklahoma. Although we may still get our chance at Oklahoma. We'll see. So, you want the four best teams? You got the four best teams. There you go. Somebody had to be left out. It could have gone either way, honestly. Ohio State, you got left out. Quit fucking whining about it. And go win your bowl game. So, with that being said, you got Oklahoma against Georgia, and you got the rubber match, Alabama versus Clemson. Oklahoma and Georgia, I mean, man, this playoff's going to be awesome, I think. Um, Oklahoma and Georgia, I really, I, I don't know on that one. Georgia's playing lights out on defense. They're able to run the ball. You saw what they did to Auburn. They played with an edge. They played with a grit. They played with revenge on their mind against Auburn this past Saturday, and they won the SEC title game convincingly. Uh, Oklahoma throttled TCU, which was no surprise to me or anybody else. Oklahoma, um, high-powered offense. Baker Mayfield is going to win the Heisman. Um He's got weapons there on the outside. They the defense is a little suspect. Um, a lot of a lot of people say, you know, well, hell, they don't play defense in the Big Twelve, and I agree with that to so, uh, to a certain extent. But the way they took <laughs> took it to TCU, who I would say has a good defense, maybe not elite, but a good defense, and they went out there and just throttled them. That says something about Oklahoma and Baker Mayfield. Um, Lincoln Riley's done a great job. I mean, <laughs> there's been no drop off in Oklahoma. If nothing else, it's been even better than when Bob Stoops was there. So we'll see this Oklahoma offense against that elite Georgia defense. Um, I really, I don't want to make a prediction in this game. I'll be pulling for Georgia. I don't like Oklahoma. I just don't. Yeah, I'm an SEC homer. Take it for what it is. I don't really care. I don't cheer for Auburn. I don't cheer for Tennessee. But in this game, I'm going to cheer for Georgia. Um, I'm not going to make a prediction because I just don't know. I think it's going to be a close game. I'll, I'll say Georgia wins by three. And we'll leave it at that. Now, you want to, I'm going to cover a little bit. I'll be making videos for Alabama and Clemson throughout the next four weeks. Um, Alabama, when they get to the playoff, when they have something on the line... It's a new team. It's This is going to be a brand new team that you see. The shit you've seen against Auburn and against Mississippi State the last couple of weeks is going to be gone. Because Nick Saban, with four weeks to prepare for a game, is the best in the business. The best there is. Now, I'm not going to take anything away from Clemson. Clemson deserves to be in the number one spot right now. Clemson is clear-cut the number one team in the nation, I think. They took it to Miami. I mean, they took their ass behind the woodshed and whooped the shit out of them. And that's just... Clemson's number one right now. But Alabama can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. They got to get some injuries healed up. They're going to have to get a great game plan together offensively, defensively, special teams-wise. They're going to have to cut out the penalties and mistakes 
the turnovers. If they get back to playing Alabama football, Alabama will beat Clemson. Period. If Jalen plays like he's Jalen can play, and I'll admit, I've been a doubter of Jalen Hurts. But that young man can play. If he can throw the ball around the yard, and some of these receivers besides Calvin Ridley can step up, some of these freshmen, some of these people who I think came in with a lot of hype and haven't lived up to it, Robert Foster, Cam Sims, if they can step up, and if Brian Dable will run the fucking ball with this stable of Alabama running backs, we will beat Clemson. We will beat Clemson. That's all there is to it. If Alabama plays Alabama football, if Dable will allow the running backs to actually get more than 10 to 12 carries in the whole fucking game and not run Jalen Hurts on a QB keeper constantly, if Jalen will stay in the pocket and not panic, we can beat Clemson. And we will beat Clemson. Defensively, Hunter Renfro. Find Hunter Renfro, stop Hunter Renfro. That's not a joke. He's an Alabama killer. I don't know how, but he is. A skinny white guy has absolutely crushed Alabama the last two times they played in the title game. Contain Kelly Bryant. If we can stop him running and force him to pass, he's going to have a long day. We have one of the best secondaries, if not the sec best secondary in college football. Minka is the best cornerback out there. We'll have a good game. If we can contain Kelly Bryant, we'll beat Clemson. That's all there is to it. Alabama will beat Clemson. And I hope we face Georgia, because I've been wanting to see that matchup all year. I thought it might happen in the ACC championship game. Alabama had to let down there. They didn't make it, but now they have redemption. Time to fucking strap in <laughs> and get ready for this college football playoff, because I think it's honestly the four best teams, and it's year four is the best playoff that we've seen so far. Talent-wise, team-wise, it is what it is. I can't wait. We got to wait one more month, a little less, but it's going to be worth it. The payoff in the end, those are going to be two great games. And I can't wait. Leave your comments below. Appreciate you watching. Roll Tide.